Hello. Today we are going to make a couple flags. To begin with, let's make a very small size flag of uh, Vatican City. Basically, we are going to work in the same way as we did um, in previously published instruction. Fabric 7 flags 3. Twist the first white and the first yellow bubble. Lock the free end of the first yellow and the first uh, white bubble in one lock twist. Twist a chain of the next three yellow bubbles. In this example, I twist all bubbles of the same up to one inch size. Lock both ends of the chain of the first four yellow bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the chain of the next three white bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the first four white bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the fifth yellow bubble. Twist the fifth white bubble. Lock free end of the fifth white and the fifth yellow bubble in one lock twist. Twist the next three yellow bubbles. And then we lock both ends of the chain of the last four yellow bubbles in one lock twist. I forgot to mention, in this example I use scraps of white and yellow balloons. Uh, we have to make just uh, eight bubbles of each color. If you work with uh, new balloons, save scraps uh, for later use. Twist a chain of the next three white bubbles. And then we lock both ends of the chain of the last four of white bubbles in one lock twist. All right. In this example, we use two rectangular shapes to make one square piece of fabric. Each side of the square has uh, four bubbles. Let's cut off the rest of the balloons and tie off the ends. And we have made uh, rectangles with sides four by two bubbles. I want to stress your attention on the size of uh, rectangular shapes. We use even number of columns and rows to make each rectangular shape. Ok, let's use permanent markers, yellow and red colors, to draw symbols of Vatican City flag. I have done it in advance. Take a closer look. I wish I can paint better than that. In the next example, we're going to make larger size flag. Inflate balloons leaving about 8-9 inch flat tail. Once again, we're going to twist all bubbles of the same up to 1 inch size. Twist a chain of the first 10 bubbles. This time I want to make a rectangular shaped piece of fabric uh, with uh, 6 bubbles on one side and 3 bubbles on uh, the other side. There are many math or geometry rules behind balloon twisting. My knowledge of uh, math unfortunately for me uh, below fifth grader level. Ok, I have to stop myself here. Uh, we have made the chain of the first ten bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. Twist a chain of the next two bubbles. The mess behind of this sculpture is uh, quite simple. When we work with odd numbers, we have uh, limits where we can start or finish the sculpture. Lock both ends of the chain of the last eight bubbles in one lock twist. And again, I'm not so good in math, uh, so I would not really refer you to mathematical rules. It's just uh, based on the result of my uh, observation. Twist the next 13th bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 12 bubbles in one lock twist. Twist a chain of the next two bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. Here we have to pull the end of the balloon through the loop of bubbles. Oops, have to twist the bubbles again. Yes, it is very basic rule. Uh, when we work with chain of bubbles, we have to hold the first and the last bubble of the chain until you lock the ends, of course. Ok, now it looks Good. Um, let's twist the chain of the next two bubbles. And then we lock both ends of the chain of the last eight bubbles 
in one lock twist. Again, we have to pull the end of the balloon through the loop of bubbles. And finally, we have to twist the last, the 18th bubble. At this point, we can uh, cut off the rest of the balloon and tie off ends. Or we can use the rest of the balloon to make the handle to hold the flag. I use my fingers to cut off the rest of the balloon. You can do it with scissors. Okay, we have made the first yellow rectangle uh, with uh, sides 3 by 6 bubbles. Now we are going to make the same size white rectangle. We have to attach white balloon to one of the long sides of uh, the yellow rectangle. Our sculpture would look slightly differently uh, depending on what sides of rectangles we attached. In this example, I'm going to tie nozzle of the white balloon uh, with the nozzle of the yellow balloon. Now we're going to work pretty much in the same way as we did the first yellow rectangle. Let's twist a chain of the first 10 white bubbles. Later, I'm going to show you how this uh, sculpture would look different if we work from uh, the other side of the yellow rectangle. Okay, so here we have made a chain of first 10 white bubbles. And now we lock uh, both ends of the chain of the last four white bubbles in one lock twist. Twist a chain of the next two white bubbles. Lock both ends of uh, chain of the last eight white bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the next 13th white bubble. Lock both ends of chain of the last 12 white bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the next 14th white bubble. Lock the free end of the 14th white bubble between nearest two yellow bubbles. We have to pull the end of the white balloon through the loop of four yellow bubbles. Twist the 15th white bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four white bubbles in one lock twist. And again, we have to pull the end of the white balloon through the loop of uh, four white bubbles. We have to work the rest of the sculpture in the same fashion. Now we twist um, the 16th white bubble. Lock the free end of uh, 16th white bubble between the nearest two yellow bubbles. Okay, we're getting closer. Two more bubbles to go. Let's twist the 17th white bubble. Oops, why did I twist one more extra bubble? I have to untwist it. Excuse me. At this point, we have to twist just one 17th white bubble. And then we lock both ends of the chain of the last eight white bubbles in one lock twist. And finally, we have to twist the last 18th white bubble. Now we have to lock the free end of the last 18th white bubble with the end of yellow balloon. Now we can cut off the rest of the white balloon. Or we can keep it and use it uh, as a handle to hold the flag. I'm going to cut off the rest of the white balloon. Tie off the ends.
Now let's use scissors to trim off ends of the balloons. Congratulations again. We have made bigger size uh, square with sides uh, 6 by 6 bubbles. Let's put our sculptures next to each other to compare the size. Again, the small square has sides uh, 4 by 4 bubbles and the large square has sides 6 by 6 bubbles. Again, I use red and yellow permanent markers to draw symbols of uh, Vatican City flag. Here's an example of my painting. Think I'm much better in balloon twisting than in uh, painting. Uh, so, please pardon my sloppy painting. Let's concentrate on uh, sculptures. The sculpture with a symbol is a different from what we have made. In this example, I attach different sides of rectangles. You can see ends of balloons in each corner of square. Let's make a flag of Algeria working in this way. Inflate green and white balloon leaving about 9 inch flat tail. Twist a chain of the first uh, 8 green bubbles. This flag has a rectangular shape. This time we have to make two small rectangles with sides 4 by 3 bubbles to make one bigger rectangle with sides uh, 4 by 6 bubbles. Here I have made a chain of first 8 green bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 4 green bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the next 9th green bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 8 green bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the next two green bubbles. What is it? 10th and 11th green bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four green bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the last 12th green bubble. We have made first green rectangle. We can keep the rest of the green balloon. Use it as a handle. Or we can cut it off and uh, tie off the end. In previous example, we tie nozzles of uh, two balloons. Then we made second rectangle and uh, attach uh, corresponding sides of uh, two small rectangles to make bigger sculpture. This time we're going to attach different sides of small rectangles. Let's twist the chain of first three white bubbles. Force the chain of the first three white bubbles through the loop of four green bubbles. We have to lock the free end of the third white bubble between the third and the fourth green bubbles. Remember, you have to hold the first white bubble. We didn't lock it yet. Twist the chain of the next two, the fourth and fifth white bubbles. Lock the free end of the fifth white bubble between the nearest two green bubbles. I think it's uh, fifth and sixth green bubbles. Twist the chain of the next three white bubbles. Lock both ends of chain of the last four white bubbles in one lock twist. Again, we have to pull the end of the white balloon through the loop of bubbles. Twist the next uh, ninth white bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last eight white bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the next two white bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four white bubbles in one lock twist.
And finally we twist the last 12 white bubble. And once again we can use the rest of the white balloon to make a handle or flag pole. Uh, it's quite simple. Let me show you quick. Here's an example with one bubble with twist. 13th bubble and lock both ends of the 13th bubble in one lock twist. Or we twist two uh, soft one inch bubbles 13th and 14th and then we lock uh, all ends of the last two bubbles in one lock twist and fix all bubbles in proper positions to hold the flag. Uh, with uh, two bubbles, two additional bubbles 13th and 14th, uh, we have more options. Uh, in what positions we can fix the flag. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to use um, the rest of the balloon to make the pole. So I'm going to untwist the 13th and 14th bubble and cut off the rest of the white balloon and tie off the end. Congratulations, we have made big rectangle with uh, sides 4 by 6 bubbles. To make a flag of Algeria we have to paint symbol on the flag. Here's an example of my painting work. Again, please uh, pardon my loose hand. I use a correction white liquid first to paint the symbol and then I paint it uh, with a red permanent marker over it. I use white correction liquid to paint uh, on both on a green and white balloon. If I used uh, just red uh, permanent marker alone without uh, white correction liquid, um, it will have different color uh, on a green background than it has on a white background. And again the sculpture with a symbol on it is uh, different, not like the ones that we have made. Uh, the ones that we made uh, has ends of balloons in each corner of uh, a big rectangle. Let's use scissors to trim off ends of the balloons. And now we put the sculptures next to each other to see the difference. Congratulations again. We have made flag of Algeria. But most importantly we use one balloon only to make uh, rectangles with odd numbers of uh, bubbles on the side. Let's take a quick look on all the sculptures that we have made today and the variations of those sculptures. Here are two flags of Vatican City, the Holy City. And that's a flag of uh, Algeria. Would be nice to have the third hand here to hold all the sculptures. Have fun and happy twisting!